beautiful souls, beautiful tribe. It is Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, coming at you from beautiful Sedona, Arizona. And friends, I say to you, hold on tight. Because the month of October is going to go down in history with the amount of crazy, wild events that are heading our way. A month that Spirit warned us about way back in December of last year. That month has finally arrived. So what does the month of October hold in store with us and for all of us? Well, we witnessed many more predictions and warnings from Spirit coming into fruition in the month of September. And over the past week as well, starting with my warning about Hurricane Helene. Last week, I warned our friends in Florida and along the East Coast of the United States that Hurricane Helene would reach Category 4, 4 before it hits the land. And it sure did, friends. It sure did. And not only that, it looked more like a Category 7 storm, if there was even such a category. Which that's going to be in my predictions today about storm categories. And the change that's coming with that. And once again, this storm brought about floods and devastation that had things looking, once again, like apocalyptic times. Crazy footage. Crazy amount of people taken away by the storm and floodwaters. We saw more bridges being washed away by floodwaters. Exactly as I saw in past visions. And yet, another dam burst at it seems due to floodwaters. And I just saw all this in past predictions and visions. So is there more to come? Well, of course there is. Could another hurricane actually hit the same place, the same path, the same area? Because we still got quite a bit of time left in the season of hurricanes. So what more could be coming in the world? Not just hurricanes, typhoons, and wild, wild weather, friends. Here in the United States... We also witnessed another one of Spirit's warnings appearing to be very plausible now. Because if you remember, we were told that there would be major outages of cell phone networks, social media, and even power outages. Now, of course, some of this would be related to storms. And we did see millions still without power in North Carolina and other places due to the storm. Not only that, Spirit said that this would be a cyber attack coming against cell phone companies and all the communications, basically. And if you recall, Spirit told us months ago that they were going to test the waters. The enemy was going to test the waters and try out their capabilities of taking out certain things in the way of communications. And when I first made that prediction, it happened soon after. We saw the outages that they tried to blame on some kind of computer software update glitch, which we know wasn't true. And then Spirit told us they were going to keep testing the waters to expect major outages. I said this last month, and we just saw this happen taking place yesterday, where folks all over the United States experienced issues with Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and all kinds of issues. Even people reporting that they were trying to log into the X platform and were unable to do so. If you remember, Spirit also talked about big attacks on the Platform X. So is this the test that Spirit actually was warning of? Could this be a sign of a much larger attack that's on our doorsteps? And what about potential similar attacks coming to our friends in the United Kingdom, Canada, France, Poland, and many others? I'm going to address that today. And I'm also going to show you a warning that something that Spirit has been warning for years now coming from an FBI whistleblower. Something that you're going to want to hear, friends, because the time has arrived, and we must stock up and be prepared, because crazy is on our doorsteps. Speaking of cray-cray, speaking of cray-cray, friends, Hillary Clinton claims that there's going to be some type of black swan event happening in October, and we all obviously know that Hillary and her friends know something that most Americans do not know. Not to mention that movie her friend Obama put out, Leave the World Behind. So is she trying to tell us something? Because she put out this warning just in the past week or so. And she probably failed to mention that her and her friends probably conjured up some, some, some of their dark magic and witchcraft to ensure something plays out in America 
before the end, before the elections come into play. So is this at all plausible? Could we see some type of black swan event? What exactly is a black swan event? And how would she know? If you remember, the Klaus Schwab warned us not only that we would eat the bugs, but that there would be a large cyber attack that would power out everything. Could that be on our doorsteps as well? I have no doubt it is. But will it be in October or will it be next year? That's the big question. So I wonder why Hillary and didn't mention the fact that North, North, North Carolina, excuse me, North Carolina just declared 10% of their registered voters as being fake. A lot of them, 250,000 of them being people that are deceased. Same thing happening in the state of Michigan. Same exact thing. Over together, over a million fake voters, or voters will say that should not have been on the voting, voting, you know, register at all. Both swing states, too. How about that? So what is really going to happen on Election Day, friends? Is there actually going to be an Election Day? Could, there be, could this be the last American election, potentially? Just saying. Remember, we talked about the book many years ago. The last president and Baron Trump's marvelous underground adventure and how those books align so creepily with current events that happened back in 2017 and such. Could it be that he gets in and ends up being the last president? Many people think he's going to be a dictator, but I say, wouldn't he already been by now? We're just going to have to wait and see, but I got lots of news for you and updates around that. And now how long has spirit literally been warning us to prepare for any and all pos possible potential situations and emergencies. Well, to be exact, it was since January of 2020, to be exact. Look at the poor folks now in the path of Hurricane Helene. Many of them certainly need food, water, and power, of course. Now, another prediction fell into place with the ports being shut down. Ports being shut down for multiple purposes, according to my past predictions. I told you we were going to see major, major strikes. I said this a couple months ago. I might have even said it in September's forecast. I'd have to look back. Major strikes that would affect the food supply chain. Well, if something don't affect the food supply chain like what's happening right now on the East Coast of the United States with the major strike of the ports and all the ports being shut down, now, according to my friends on the East Coast, there's a buying frenzy happening. A buying frenzy. People are buying, guess what? Of course you know. Take a guess. Toilet paper, of course, friends. They have to have their poop paper. Gotta have your poop paper. So they're rushing into pl places like the big stores, like Sam's and Costco and all on the East Coast. Spirit did say that this was going to happen. So ports being shut down for multiple purposes. A major strike, of course, for port workers, basically closing down all of the East Coast of the United States. Still, Spirit's continued warning to stock up and be prepared. So does that sound so crazy now? Because a lot of people and even friends and family members don't listen to me and haven't stocked up. I actually had one friend text me today, oh, you better stock up on stuff, you know, because the ports are closed. I'm like, yeah, I predicted it. I've already been stocked up. <laughs> and I will continue to stock up as much as I can. And as much as we can afford. Don't go into debt stocking up, friends. So not looking uh, so crazy now, what the Spirit said. So this also aligns with a prophecy from the Holy Bible Book of Revelation. I'm going to share that prophecy because someone shared it with me in the comments last week. And I wasn't particularly aware of that one. And, you know, sometimes it, when it happens, it's even more easier to see what that prophecy is saying. So I'm going to share, you, share that with you today. And I have been talking and, and predicting large amounts of arrests taking place, some being celebrity arrests, politically related, some others. We also did just see the indictment of, of course, P. Diddy, but now we just saw another indictment of the New York City mayor. What's his name? Eric Adams, I believe. The only Democrat leader, I will say, that actually spoke out against illegal immigration. Things that make you go, hmm, friends. Things that make you go, hmm. Hmm. Although, no, we also got to say he also did give P. Diddy the key to the city. So obviously they have something going on between the two of them. 
But we have to look at all things because I called for other major arrests too. And I called for major arrests of those caught up in traffic and such, if you know what I mean. Well, guess what, friends? Good news. The U.S. Marshals just rounded up more than 3,000 people in a national sting operation. So, great news, right? Great news. So when are they going to start to enter into the tunnels that I talked about? When are the elite going to pay their karmic dues that we talked about? It's on our doorsteps, friends. You know, Massachusetts governor just seized a private hospital. How long before they start seizing whatever else they want? Your home, your business, hand it over to the illegals, hand them out to whoever they want, except for the Americans who actually owned them. Remember my past predictions about hospital closures. Well, this one didn't close, obviously, but the state seized it. I think that's even worse. You know, the fight to stop fluoridation in our country took a great new step forward with the judges ruling on the concerns that fluoride has a negative effect on children's intellectual development. No, really? I've been talking about that for over 15 years. People thought I was crazy back then. They're not all thinking I'm crazy now because it's been proven we also are now being told that Iran has f launched over 200 missiles into Israel. Now, some claims that the Iron Dome took them all out. But video footage shows a totally different scenario and shows many of them hitting near and outside of Tel Aviv, another city that I warned from the spirits. So, friends, a lot going on. A whole lot going on in the world. So hop aboard, beautiful souls, the crazy train of truth. Crazy train of truth and vibe with your tribe, friends. Vibe with your tribe. As we review the craziness of the world, how it aligns with past predictions and prophecy, of course, with new predictions to feed that prediction addiction. As we peer much closer at the month of October and what we can expect hitting on the global stage. Some of what we can expect. Lots going on, friends. Lots going on. And y'all know what time it is. It's Tittle Tea Time, baby. Ah, beautiful friends, beautiful souls, and beautiful tribe. I hope that you're having a vibing kind of day today, an amazing day today, as we ring in the first day of October. When I'm recording this, just after 2.30 p.m., I'm a little late today. Got a lot going on, trying to get things ready before I go on this work mission. But I want to welcome you to my channel and back to my channel. And if you're new here and you want accurate predictions, truth, prophecy, and you want to vibe with our awesome tribe, please do smash that there, subscribe. Smash the subscribe, followed by the bell and all, so that you get notifications. Down below in the description, you'll find the link to all of my social media content, including the newsletter that is free. And I haven't gotten out yet because, again, I'm really very busy. But I will get October's forecast out into the email, hopefully before bedtime tonight. So if the link's not down there for October, sign up for September so that you get the October in your email. Make sure that when you sign up, you confirm with the confirmation email and add the email address to your contacts to ensure that you get it or otherwise it'll end up in your spam folder or you might not get it at all. Also, make sure you realize that you can find me on Spotify, Rumble, and all the other platforms as well. So if you're on them, be sure to head over to Rumble, give me a follow or head on to Spotify, give me a follow there. Also down below, you can find all the information to my website, josephtittle.com, or to make it easy, spiritmanjt.com, where you can schedule your appointments right there on the website. I also have an upcoming class starting on the full moon in November. Very powerful start off of healing, guided meditations, and all the information in a six-week class, once a week for six weeks, to help you transform into abundance and make the best out of 2025 that you possibly can. This program, if you follow it, is absolutely guaranteed to work. It will work if you follow it. No doubt about it. I am proof that it works because I used all of it for myself before I started teaching others. 
So check that all out down below in the description. Also be aware of fake profiles and social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I will never ever send you private messages on any platform offering you readings or asking for anything at all. Those are fake profiles, people that steal our information, post it under our name and try to hoax you and scam you into sending them money. If you do get such an email message, Please do report it directly on that platform. No need to send it to us or our email. I am buried in emails. Please do not send links or any information about world events or anything in my email. Please leave those links down below in the comment section of whatever platform you happen to be watching this on. Let us move forward, beautiful souls, to episode number 137 of Tittle Tea Time, baby. Step right up, step right up, ladies and gentlemen, the circus is about to begin, and today we got the two-headed man, the ten-foot-tall bearded lady, and the werewolf. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't help myself, but it's like we're going into the circus show. It's just like one thing that's hard to believe after another. And today, we step into the very first day of October, the month that Spirit warned us way back in November of last year that intense waves of energy were going to flow in in this month. And those energies actually already started flowing in a few days before the month began. Really, they actually started flowing in since the last eclipse back in September. That took us into the dark cycle. Now we are going into the light cycle, friends, and this is going to be interesting because as we do so, tomorrow these intense alignments coming in are going to reveal truth on a completely different level. Not just truth on the global stage, but inner truths as well. So you may notice and experience past unfortunate traumas coming up, but it's not unfortunate. These things are coming up because we're in the nine vibration in October. It's all about getting rid of and clearing things completely. So when these things come up, it's so that we can face it once and for all and heal. The nine vibration is also about healing. Healing things and the astrological alignments coming in are all about healing. You may also have past things come up, like say past arguments, indifferences. It's a time to forgive. Put those aside. You may also see friends from the past or enemies from the past popping back up again. Now, if it's friends, you should definitely make that reconnection because October is all about reconnecting, again, healing and taking our friendships and relationships to a different level, a better level. Not that they're in a bad level, but to make it better. We all strive to be the best versions of us that we can possibly be. And October is definitely a month you're going to want to focus on doing exactly that, being the best version of you as you can possibly be. Now, not only is it going to bring in inner truths with us personally, of course, it's going to bring in global truths, global truths that are going to be revealed on the global stage. The month of October is going to be pretty wild, friends. It's my favorite time of the year, too. We got witchy woo-woo season coming up at the end of the month with Halloween. Oh, Hallow's Eve, Samhain, the Day of the Dead. What a celebration. So the month of October is also going to bring with it this new wave of whistleblowers. And sadly, it's also going to bring a, about a new wave of social media suppression, you know, shutting people down, a banning of platforms, a, a, and not only just a banning of platforms, but a banning of people for speaking out truth or speaking out at all. Now, some of them should be banned because they're not speaking truth. They're just speaking or spilling hatred and division. They're the ones that should be going. We all should come together, but truth should not be suppressed at all. And the October's nine vibration, it's all about truth. And it's also all about bringing things to an ending. So resignations of power heads and a lot of unfortunate passings away of people too. Even a friend of mine just said that because his father just passed. Um, and I just, my friend Susie passed and we see it happening. And I hear it, read about it in the comments all the time from all y'all. Lots of passings in the month of September. Well, October is going to be a lot more than that, friends. So October 2nd, tomorrow, the moon in Libra conjunct Mercury in Libra and the lunar eclipse in Libra. So this is a very, very powerful, powerful uh, moon-Mercury conjunction that's happening, friends, in Libra. This conjunction is urging us all to bring more balance into our communication, 
into our relationships, and for inner harmony as well. Remember, do things that bring you joy and happiness. And don't say yes to things that you don't want to say yes to. Step in your power and learn to say no, friends. So this aspect is going to also encourage clarity in thought and in speech, making it an ideal time, friends, for some heart-centered conversations, making peace with the past, past misunderstandings. That's why I said you're going to see people popping up from the past. You may even just have them pop up, whether it's through a message, a text, an email, something like that. Libra governs fairness in partnerships. So this is a moment and a perfect time in the month of all, October. I keep saying August. October to address imbalances in any area of your life where harmony has been lacking. Remember, always ask yourself, does this bring me joy and happiness? Can this or can that or will that bring me joy and happiness? If the answer is yes, then go for it. You know you're making the best decision ever. If the answer is no, then what are you doing? Smack, smack. Run the other way. <laughs> you live by that, you'll always make nothing but good decisions, friends. So then we also have that powerful lunar eclipse in the sign of Libra tomorrow, which is going to bring in this heightened focus again on relationships. Justice. That's why I said lots of things coming out with truth. Because it's about justice and it's about fairness. And the eclipse, it's the solar eclipse, which is all about revealing things in the light. So that Libra and the whole eclipse thing, oh, it's going to be fun. Very, very interesting. Remember, eclipses are very potent times also when it comes to endings and new beginnings. We're in that nine vibration of endings. And when we go into November, we're in the new beginnings, the one vibration. So it's going to be a very, very perfect time to end a habit clear an addiction, a pattern, end the friendship, relationship, whatever it is you need to do. It won't necessarily be easy, but it'll be much easier if you do it in the nine vibration. No doubt about it. So eclipse is very, very potent times, not just personally, but also on a professional level as well and on the global stage. The eclipses are going to illuminate any areas in your life in, in the world of discord, like we're seeing in the Middle East right now. Highlight it the very first day of October. First big thing on the news here in America about Israel and everything that's happening over there. So this is going to illuminate again areas of discord so that you can release that which no longer serves your highest good on a personal level. On a world level, unfortunately, it's just going to escalate things more and more. Although we can hold in the light that things do come to an end, there could be peace that comes in the nine vibration with a new start in the month of November. Remember, this is the current timeline heading towards the third world conflict. That timeline can shift and change through our thoughts, our words, and what we hold a vision of. So if we hold a vision that things calm down and there's peace in Europe and peace in the Middle East, we need that to happen, friends. Because if we don't shift this timeline, we're, what do they say, up shit's Creek without a paddle. <laughs> That's where we're gonna be. And I believe that we can shift it. And I hold that in the light every day. And remember, this is all about releasing things that no longer serve your highest potential. So trust in any changes that are happening now because they are totally pushing you towards a much deeper alignment with growth and abundance. So being the nine vibration rules over humanitarian aid, it is easy to assume that major world events like Hurricane Helene is doing right now. It's calling for humanitarian aid just as soon as we get into the month of October. That all actually started at in the end of September. But right now is when all that humanitarian aid is going into North Carolina and parts where this storm devastated. So in my past channeled prediction session late last year, it might have been November, I stated that I saw a huge call for humanitarian aid. You remember that? Huge call for humanitarian aid after a major earth and weather event hits a combination of Japan and also the United States and several other shores as well. So this could definitely, most certainly, be an event that could take place in the month of October because remember my visions were basically a mass rift 
beneath the Pacific that causes such a large earthquake that it brings tsunami waves to multiple places, hitting the, what would that be, the southern part of Japan? Southern part of Japan. Philippines, even reaching Indonesia, some of the parts of Hawaii, and then the west coast of the United States. And I feel like whenever this rift does happen beneath the ocean in the Pacific, that's going to unleash the double earthquake, the one that happens on the west coast, right off the coast of California, Oregon, and Canada. Right up there um, near the island that I pointed to in my weather predictions, where we've seen it. I'm just drawing a blank right now. I don't know why. But you all know where I'm talking about. We talked about it many, 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 many times. So with that nine vibration rolling over humanitarian aid and all that, this could be a month. Well, it's definitely going to be a month where we're going to see events that call for humanitarian aid. Could it be the big, big one with the big earthquakes and all that I mentioned? It could. It could. But if not, definitely in the month of 20, in the year 2025. 2025, the whole year is a nine vibration. So humanitarian aid and humanitarian efforts is going to be one of the biggest focuses of 2025. So it would make more sense that that could hit right at the end of December when we're in that energy shift and early into January where they're calling for that humanitarian aid. So we just have to hold in the light. Regardless, certain things can be shifted and prevented. But when it comes to the earth shifting and the place shifting, that can't be prevented, but people can be more prepared and aware of it. And there will be signs spirit showed us before this happens with the volcanoes. So right now, the one thing we should be watching is the volcanoes more than anything. And if something happens with that, of course, we'll do an update. I'll go live if I can. Just makes a lot of sense. So also the nine vibration also highlights both endings, truth, and justice. As I stated in yesterday's October forecast and predictions, if you missed that, be sure to check it out. Yesterday, the October forecast and predictions, the numerology, the astrology, and specific predictions. So expect there to be more arrests, as I stated yesterday. Remember what Spirit warned in the past about some of these arrests being politically motivated with false charges, while others are going to be Karma related, karma finally being served by the justice system, we can say. Last week, we saw the indictment of New York City's mayor. What is it, Eric Adams? The only Democratic mayor who actually spoke up against all the illegal immigrants destroying New York City. Too many to handle, he would scream out and cry out. We can't handle this all. Now we're hearing... From so many towns and cities in the United States, the same thing, you know, too many people, too many people. What are we going to do with them all? So this is happening in other countries as well. It's just not, not just the United States. It's happening in Australia, mate. It's happening in the United Kingdom. It's happening in France and many other countries as well. It's part of the United Nations agenda, friends. We know that. So was this indictment? on New York City mayor, a political move by his own people? Or was it actually connected to the P. P. Diddy case and the fact that, what was it, just a year ago, that same mayor gave Sean P. Diddy Combs the key to the city? Hmm, why, why were you so grateful to P. Diddy that you had to give him the key to the city? Hmm, or how much money did he pay you? So likely, it is a combination of both is what Spirit gave me the feeling which is going to be overall forcing Adams to resignate. It's going to force a resi resignation of the city's mayor, and soon we're going to see these political moves being enacted against both sides of the spectrum. So we're going to see it on both sides. So I would expect more mayors and more. And the other thing they rated was the um, head of the schools in New York City. I don't know what happened with them, but they were raided and, and indicted as well. All their homes were raided. Kind of interesting. Get used to that theme. Political agendas to raid people's homes. But also at the same time, really, do, really revealing truth along the way as well. Some will go down that are innocent. Member Spirit told us that. But most will be guilty. Most will be guilty. And even a few of the guilty will sl slither their way out of it. 
So Spirit says that truth's going to come out, and the enemies that did not consider, these enemies of theirs did not consider these things before this big takedown happens. And speaking of arrests, in another past vision and prediction, was people being rounded up. Remember, I saw people being rounded up, which is going to be a big thing next year. Big, big thing next year. People being rounded up, people being arrested. But I saw people being rounded up and arrested. Not just leaders or politicians or celebrities. That is in my predictions. So I expect to see more of that, especially next year. But I also talked about thousands of people that are, you know, weaved into that web of darkness also being rounded up and, and arrested. Well, finally, friends, finally, we are seeing some of this come into fruition. Yes. More than 3,000 people. I'll tell you exactly how many in a moment. 3,421 violent fugitives in a nationwide operation. The latest phase of the operation led to a seizure of 534 firearms, more than $508,000, and more than 1,000 pounds of illegal narcotics, including fentanyl. The U.S. Marshal Services successfully arrested 3,421 violent fugitives as a part of the latest phase of Operation North Star, a national initiative that targets the most dangerous criminals in high crime metropolitan areas. It's not enough in my opinion. It's not enough. But it's a start. It's definitely a start, friends. So finally, we're beginning to see the past prediction coming into the light of arrests, celebrity arrests. And I said that way back in 2017. And now this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. And the month of October is going to bring about another wave of arrests as we also witness the global elite going after platforms and leaders that speak out against them, such as Alex Jones, Elon Musk, and platforms. Oh, and um, oh, what's his name? I just totally... I can't think of his name now. Damn. Tucker Carlson. I knew it would come to me. And platforms like X, Rumble, Truth, Truth Social, and many others. Beware. And what about the underground hell that Spirit showed us to, that back, you know, I believe back in 2016 when I had those very disturbing visions of the hell right there beneath our feet. The hell that lies right there beneath our feet. Tunnels that are used for sinister, dark, evil things that would truly disturb people way more than the movie Exorcist did back in the 1970s. Because if you know about that, people walked out. It was like the most terrifying thing for people ever. Well, not as terrifying as these tunnels underground and what goes on. Horrific things happen below, friends. Horrific things happen below. We saw the tunnels being revealed under P. Diddy's home that are alleged to lead to the Playboy Mansion and even Ellen DeGeneres' house, Degenerate, <laughs> and other celebrities' homes in the same neighborhood. Well, it gets much darker than that, and we don't know if that's completely true. We saw the tunnels, but we didn't see where they came out at. And they wouldn't probably tell us anyway. So expect things to be revealed from beneath our feet. Whether it be the tunnels being shown in the light in Europe, revealing where the traffic goes, if you know what I mean. Tunnels also revealing wisdom and knowledge. I see some type of a discovery of an ancient tunnel system that's going to somehow educate us on our past. That'll be interesting. Some type of discovery of a tunnel system and some type of knowledge in this tunnel system that will again educate all of us on our true past. So expect many things to be revealed when it comes to what really lies beneath our feet. Not just in the month of October, but over the next year. It's going to be wild. Wild, friends, wild. This brings me to our next important topic. Strikes, shortages, and cyber attacks. Which was the big story today, as you know. The, story, the biggest story this morning here in America when we woke up was the ports. Well, actually, it was Israel, but then it was the ports, which is more important to Americans. That should be the number one story. 
All the ports on the East Coast of the United States have been taken, you know, all the port workers have taken to the picket lines, friends, for higher wages, wages and demands. Well, one of their demands is like no automated stuff, like AI stuff. I'm totally with them on that. Yeah, they don't want that because they bring that in. It won't be long before none of them have jobs. None of them. That's exactly, that makes total sense. It ain't going to work, though, says the spirits. So can you believe they're actually asking for 70, well, according to the fake media, I don't know if it's true or not, but 77% raise in wages over the next three years. That's a crazy amount of money, friends. 77% raise in your wages in three years? That's, what, 25% raise a month, a year? So I'm, also, I'm all about higher wages, but that's a bit steep. And the main reason, not only would this the majority, it would drive up prices more than ever. And, it, you know, everything and all the goods coming from these ports would go up in price. And we just don't need anything to go up. Already in one state, I believe it was Maryland, a truck driver was attacked and his windshield busted as he attempted to do his job driving into the port. Local authorities are telling the strikers to let people through to do their jobs. This is only going to get worse, friends, especially in Maryland. For some reason, the port in Maryland kept jumping out at me very strongly today. It's like some kind of big event. And we saw what happened with the Maryland Bridge. That just came to my mind. So if that just came to my mind, oh, it's dark in here. I don't have my light on. So if I'm a little darker today, it's because I didn't put the light on. I totally forgot to put the light on. Oh, well, that's okay. You can still hear me. That's all that matters. Can you see me? Wink, wink. <laughs> Just got dark outside. We could use some rain here, that's for sure. So now we see, again, people on the East Coast are going to go into this buying frenzy, as they already are, buying up all the toilet paper, paper towels, and everything else that they can. I guess they must not realize that paper towels and toilet paper are made right here in the United States. I mean, I'm sure there's imported toilet paper and paper towels too, but mainly it's, it's made right here. So like, what's the rush? What's the worry? What's the worry? I'm glad we don't have that problem on the West Coast. Not yet. So what I say to those people that are on this buying frenzy, buy American and you won't have to worry about it. Just buy American toilet paper made in America. I know it's hard to find things made in America nowadays, but it's out there, especially toilet paper and paper towels. So did you know that there is actually a warning, an actual warning in the book of Revelation in the Holy Bible? It is from Revelation chapter 18, verse 17, and it states, for in a single hour, all this wealth has been laid waste, and all shipmasters and all seafaring men, sailors and all those trade is on the sea, stood far off. It's a tongue twister, but I'll read it again. In a single hour, all this wealth has been laid waste. And all shipmasters and seafaring men, sailors, and all those whose trade is on the sea, stood far off. That's easy to interpret. It's telling you right there. Within a single hour which is, you know, I'm not saying that this is now, but still it kind of is now in a single hour, which was at 12.01 a.m. to be exact, in a single minute was more like it. All the wealth, because that's all the wealth, all the wealth of the economy and all is on those boats and on those ports. All the shipmasters and seafaring men, that's the guys that run the ships, all the sailors and all those who, who trade in the sea, stand far off, stood far off, yeah, far off from the ports because they can't come in. Now, that is a clear sign that there is going to be a point and globally where we are unable, to, where ships are going to be unable to get to ports. We did see this play out back in 2020 after lockdowns, if you recall. Now we're seeing this again here in the United States, but just on the East Coast of the United States. But Spirit warns this is going to hit globally. And people at other ports, say on the West Coast, or say even like Australia or otherwhere, otherwares, other, other places, are going to see these strikes happening. And especially if they get their way, right? And they get that increase. And they're all going to follow, follow in their footsteps. And before you know it, we're going to have ports closed all over the world. 
and that's not going to be good. And also, when the ships are sitting there out at sea with all that stuff on it, they're not moving goods, so goods start to sit. And spirits showed me containers with rotten food, flies, maggots, especially rotten produce. So let's hold in the light that this isn't the case, but that's the vision I had today. And if that's the case, then we're really up shit's creek without a paddle, friends. I got my paddle, my giant zucchini right here. Look at the size of this thing. That's my paddle. You ever see a zucchini that big before? <laughs> I got a green thumb. Green thumb. So as I stated in the past, I see attacks coming at the ports. I saw a vision today of three large explosions at ports. I believe this is going to be overseas, although at least one here in the United States and also one up in Canada. I had a vision of an explosion taking down cranes and destroying everything. That was a big one. I believe that several of these coming events hitting ports will obviously be in the Middle East and in Israel. I see a huge port attack taking place in Israel, which probably might be happening as we speak, as I speak. The port in Israel feels to me, and this was disturbing, it felt like an inside sabotage. Explosions from within. These events will likely, we will likely see in this month of October. And I see more strikes breaking out, unfortunately, friends. I see more strikes breaking out around port workers and something huge coming around truckers as well. And I don't think truckers have a union like the rest of them, but truckers stick together as they should. It kind of reminded me of the trucker thing that happened in Canada a few years back and the trucker convoy that followed that, but different. And like reminded me of that, but it was different. And I had a vision of trucks lined up blocking something or someone from getting through. I also see a vision of military and national guard being called at some point. And I see more strikes at ports in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and many other places in the coming months. The current strike here in the United States will be like a virus spreading to others. Perhaps we could call it an awakening virus sent here to force people to open their eyes, step into our power, and bring back the power to the people. Remember, I can go back 15 years ago. 20 years ago, where Spirit said, when I did radio predictions on Philadelphia radio, where I first started doing predictions, was in, on the radio, not blog talk radio, but on the actual radio station, I said that in the future, well, Spirit said, humanity would be forced to come together, forced to come together in pure love. What would force us to come together? Well, when we're hungry, the only way to really pull for food is when we work as a community. And Spirit also said we would be forced to live in communities, not communities like FEMA camps, but creating our own communities where we grow our own food and take care of each other. That's where we're heading in the next 10 to 15 years, no doubt about it. Which is a good thing. It's just the, the bumpy road we have to run on before we get there to the finish line. So friends, as Spirit and I have been urging you for years now, Stock up on everything and anything you need. And our friends on the East Coast, like you should already be stocked up and not in that buying frenzy. If you've been listening and following what I've been telling you and the spirits have been telling you. So t stock up, perhaps. What happens if your supply is suddenly cut off? It's happening. People's supplies are being cut off, especially foreign goods. And unfortunately, most of our goods are foreign. So we see this happening, and we see why Spirit has been warning us for so long. But not only that, we see what they're doing with the pesticides or with the fertilizers to the farmers. We see what they're doing to the farmers over in Holland and all over the world. This is part of their plan. What do you do to force people into your mark of the beast? Remember, the mark of the beast in the Holy Bible says in order for you to eat or get food, you have to have the mark. Sounds like that's what they're pushing you to. Yeah, and we'll feed you, but you have to take the mark. But when we live in communities and work together, it's much different, friends, much different. So we see it happening. We see it happening already. And there are those that are just not really going to take these events as a sign like they should be. 
They should have took this as a sign back in 2020 to stock up and be prepared. But there's still folks that aren't going to take this seriously. And it's going to be those folks that are unprepared are the ones that we may need to defend ourselves from later. Remember that. All right, potential shutdowns and attacks. So moving on to another prediction and warning that once again we witness coming into reality is major outages. I warned that we were going to see cell phone outages, which is a Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, and social media platforms, including the, the you know, X platform. I told you they wanted to take that X platform down. And remember, Spirit specifically spoke of cyber attacks that the enemy was going to be testing the grounds. Remember that? Testing the grounds several times first before launching a major simultaneous attack. Not just America. And that's, I want to know from all y'all that are in different countries, have you witnessed in the past week or two major outages with your communications? Meaning, again, cell phone outages, television outages, cable company outages, maybe even power outages. I want to know in the comments down below. We all want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Want to know. So we did see the first of these tests happen during the summer months, if you recall. And once again, yesterday, major outages of cell towers and even folks trying to log into the X platform were rejected from doing so. Spirit told us that they were going to attack the X platform multiple times, taking it offline for a good period of time. Interesting enough that, you know, that more and more people are turning to the X platform for their news than any other platform. I thought that was quite interesting. Now, I wonder they want to take it down. So was this another test yesterday? Was this another test as Spirit warmed? Well... I absolutely say without a doubt it was another test, according to my spirit guides anyway. Spirit says they're gearing up. They are gearing up. They being the enemy, whoever that may be, the enemies from the inside. We know that. I made, remember uh, the vision of simultaneous attacks that I had? Visions of it happening in multiple places, simultaneous attacks and explosions in multiple cities? Well, I feel strongly that these are all related. It's all related. It's all connected to this enemy web of darkness. And of course, now they want to blame it on Iran. Of course. But Spirit shows me that these are inside jobs conducted by the deep state psychopaths. Blame it on Iran and ignite a new conflict before elections. What's holding the light? That doesn't happen. So today, I remember um, Leave the World Behind, friends, the movie? The Obama movie? That Obama orchestrated the whole movie? Yeah. Iran, remember it said that in that video? Remember the things that were falling from the helicopters with the message from Iran on it? Yeah. Thanks, Obama. So today we're hearing that Iran launched more than 200 missiles into Israel. Some claim the footage is artificial intelligence. I beg to differ. Whether it be true or not, doesn't matter. What we do know is there's an agenda here, and that agenda is to push towards a third world conflict. Already, Russia spoke up and said, if you attack Iran, we're, we're in. That is not what we want to happen. And if Iran, if Russia's in, you know North Korea's in. Because remember, Russia dropped off stuff to all these different countries. Russia dropped stuff off to North Korea. They dropped stuff off to Cuba, Belarus. Yeah, what do you think they dropped off? Boom booms. Big, big, big boom booms, friends. Big ones. Crazy. We have to hold in the light all of the Middle East and all of Europe so that this doesn't bring about nuclear annihilation. And I warned earlier this year that the globalists are going to somehow push the United States into a conflict with Iran. And it's on the edge now. It's on the edge craziness friends craziness crazy train so people have been reporting over the past month seeing all these desert like military vehicles american and equipment being loaded onto trains and heading to ports you can see there's lots of video of it online short videos that people post it and they're all desert type you can tell when the military 
they look like the desert storm or the all the stuff they left in the Middle East to begin with, all that equipment they left there. Billions of dollars of equipment. Now they're pushing a whole bunch out. All this money going out to conflicts in other countries why our citizens suffer. And that's not just Americans. It's happening in the United Kingdom. It's happening in France. It's happening, you know, the governments and the administration are supporting everybody but us. Australia's shipping money out. All of them are. Crazy. So obviously something's being planned and has been planned for a long time now. And unfortunately, we're about to witness massive escalation of both the conflict in the Middle East and the conflict in Europe. Major cell power and social media out outages are coming that are going to be similar, similar to what we just had here. United Kingdom, Canada, France, Belgium, and several others. I see a much larger wide-range outage hitting the United States. I also see, as I did in the past, a city going dark. I don't know what city, but I feel like it's all connected. The city going dark is the same time communications goes out, same time, all a major cyber attack. And one of my military intelligence friends tells me, that this is what the enemy does right before a full target attack. They test all the communication systems because it's going to be the very first thing they do and attack and take out. Take out all communications. That's what they do. So does this sound familiar? Again, this sounds very, very familiar. It sounds exactly what Obama put in the movie Leave the World Behind. As if they were warning us ahead of time. And then look at how the world's gone since that movie came out. <laughs> There's no coincidences, friends. They're all going to hide in their little underground bunkers, which will eventually become their tombs. Spirit told us, me that way back 2012. I did a video, Mother Earth Speaks. It was just a message I received from Mother Earth. And in that message, she said they will, they will become their tombs. I wouldn't want to be underground when the earth shifts. Uh-uh, I want to be on ground and outside, not in any building or anything. Wow. Wow. So we can all, again, hold in the light and hope that our justice system shines on the criminals before they ignite their sinister plans to attack America from the inside, from our own people in the deep state. Not only America, parts of Europe. Because it's coming to you all over there in Europe, too. Remember my vision and my channeled predictions where it said simultaneous attacks happening in multiple places. And I don't mean just multiple places in the U.S. I'm talking multiple countries at once. And then this makes me think of this, too. Remember China? Spirit told us China was going to attack multiple places at once. Huh. That just popped in my brain. So I bet you that's connected. Because, you know, they're going to go into Taiwan eventually and, and they want to throw the rest of us off, America and their allies, so then they can't do anything and they can take over Taiwan. So that would make sense that China would be in on a big cyber attack on our country in some way or another. We've got so many threats coming into our countries from so many different areas, especially our borders, where all these... Sleeper cells have crossed the borders. And not, again, just America, but globally. So another warning in our faces comes from our friend from the Clinton crime family. You know who I'm talking about? Hillary. Yeah, Hillary. She's now playing the character from, from ancient history. Cassandra, you know, the prophet. Yeah, Cassandra, the prophet. <laughs> That's what she states in this video. She states that the media is reporting the facts. Yeah, just as much as we're all smoking crack right now, right? <laughs> she claims that this happens every October. What's this? This happens every October, she says in this clip. Russia and China election interference, she states. Did we not hear Hillary spout that crap out of her mouth with those claims once before in the past? Not only did she spout them out in the past, she was called out for it and proved to be a liar. So, I want you all to listen to the Wicked Witch of the West. I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. <laughs> I want you to listen to the Wicked Witch of the West for yourself. 
I want you to hear for yourself and tell yourself, just listen, just listen, just listen, friends, just listen, check it out. Three final question. You liken yourself to Cassandra, the Greek mythological figure who could see the future and the prophecies, but was never believed. Uh, putting that Cassandra hat on for the moment, but we're listening. Uh, what is something you see happening in the near future that we should be taking more seriously? Well, I do think that um, the, the press needs a consistent near, I mean, the, the press is not supporting Trump blatantly, very uh, persistently. The press is trying to be the press, be objective, be, you know, reporting the facts. Um, the press needs a consistent narrative about the danger that Trump poses. Because, you know, people may still they may still look at the danger and say, I don't care. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect me. I'm going to vote for, for X, Y, or Z. But okay. But at least people need to be woken up and given the facts about what he has done, is saying, and would do. And I anticipate that, you know, something will happen in October, as it always does. Um, you know, the Russians, um, as I said earlier, are very active in this election. Um, we know the Iranians are active uh, as well. Chinese uses TikTok, or they certainly did against Biden and for Trump. I think they're a little less um, pro-Trump uh, right now. Um, so you look at where people get their information, and they get their information largely from social media. And so the campaign is doing the best job it can to combat that combat both domestic and foreign uh, false uh, disinformation. But I anticipate there will be a full court press in October. The, the digital airwaves will be filled. And why does that matter? Because the, the press that is pro-Trump anyway, oftentimes stories are put on digitally that then are picked up by, let's say, at Fox and others. And then those stories are stories. So the mainstream press reports on them, and so that story then takes on a life of its own. There will be... So let's get something straight right now, friends. Russia, China, and even Iran, they all absolutely do not want Trump to be the president. We know that. We know that. For obvious reasons, of course. It will cost China more money. It will force Russia to enter peace talks. And Iran fears of a Trump attack, even though we know it is the current administration that has really been pushing for the conflict with Iran for years now. And see how they do the reverse psychology, friends? See how they do reverse psychology along with propaganda to trick and deceive the masses? Why would they want, want, want to stop? Why would they fix it for him to win? They don't want him to win. If they're fixing it for anybody, China, Iran, and, and, and the rest of them, they're fixing it for the current administration to stay in there. Not for him. They don't want him. That makes no sense at all whatsoever. But it does to some people because I guess they're still sleeping. So hold on tight, my friends. That's all I got to say. Hold on tight for the people are already fed up. And they're already awakening in large numbers to the corruption. And October is going to bring with it twists, turns, and surprises that we never expect. Unless you listen to Spirit, of course. Then you should expect many of these things that are coming because Spirit warned us about it. And in turn, we should all have a pretty darn good idea of what to expect. Besides the unexpected. I see problems around election time or prior to election time. Perhaps hitting on Halloween, All Hallows' Eve in New York City. I got a strong pull to New York City, a very strong feeling that bad things are about to play out in the New York City. This could also bring about my past vision and prediction of seeing a building explosion in New York City, in or next to the Empire State Building. I feel the same in my past prediction for Chicago. And also seeing multiple attacks and explosions hitting multiple cities in the United States and other ally countries, mostly Europe and places like United Kingdom, France, and Poland. I stated last December that I felt that the elections were going to be delayed, which is already true due to the 
many states, including my state here, Arizona, counting paper ballots. It's going to take them a long time to do. They're not going to be able to do it. It's going to cause delays. But I still feel that there's going to be a, some kind of delay that may delay, delay our actual ability to go out and vote. And an extension of the voting time. So we usually vote in one day. They may extend it, make it multiple days, which would be shady as crap, friends. That'd be really shady. So when it comes to, especially when it comes to the swing states, so remember that, delays and the ability to go out and vote delays. And I remember what happened back in um, when Obama elections, the hurricane hit on October 29th, New Jersey. Caused outages. People couldn't vote by November 2nd. It was a disaster. Interesting. Could we see that play out again, this time hitting New York City? As per my past visions of floods in New York City and big dark clouds heading towards the Statue of Liberty? That sounds very about plausible right about now. Was the um, Hurricane Helene just a test? Because if you follow the, um, what's it called? The... Uh, Next, next, next star radar. They were sending out pulses all along the sides of the hurricane as if they were directing it to go in one direction. Just go look at the videos from, I'm sure he did a video and I seen it somewhere else, but into thin air, his video, I bet you he did one on it, but I saw it somewhere else though. So I also stated last December that I felt elections again, not only are going to be delayed, but I feel like they're going to try to stop it and overall i get this feeling that we may not see the results until december maybe even early january and there's also some type of flip that's going to occur don't know what spirit just showed me a pancake flipping now back in 2017 i stated that trump would serve two terms and pass away in the third year of his second term so as of now, and then some people were like, oh, well, the last election, it should have been him and he should have won. Well, he's still alive and it's the fourth year if he was in office, it'd be his last term. So that, that wouldn't work. And we could see it more plausible that if he did win that in three years, he could pass. So as of now, I feel like this timeline hasn't changed and it's still going to be the case. But I feel that the globalists are going to do and are doing absolutely everything possible to cause chaos in the United States while still attempting to completely erase Trump from the equation. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. So that's what they want. We already know that. We've seen the attempts. We know they have technologies to make people do things that they don't want to do. So there's going to be some surprising changes coming. And I still also feel like there could be some surprising change around Harris. I don't know what, but I just feel like something. I see her very disappointed still. And lastly, I remind you in the past that I saw Harris taking oath before Biden's term ends. And I would think the deep staters would want to do this before the election forcing Biden, Biden to step down due to a health issue. This holds very strong as well still on this timeline. Biden did not visit the people devastated by Hurricane Helene, but they sent Harris. So she's already taken his role. Not that he would even win anyway. The person in charge of our borders, the person in charge of our borders who never went until about two weeks ago, hurries up and runs to the people in North Carolina. I think Biden should be there, not her. Biden should be there, but he's not. He's on the beach in Delaware. Also, so expect that. That, that could still happen this month, forcing him to step down before the election so that she's in the front. You know, make her a president again, even though she was president for a week. Just saying. So although I, um, the future according to spirit, in the future according to spirit, there's going to be a call to change the categories of storms. So next year, storms are going to be larger than ever. And this is going to have folks demanding reevaluation re of storm categories. And it's going to start with tropical storms, hurricanes, and typhoon types of storms. And eventually, by 2030, we will also have a reevaluation and a different type of category system when it comes to earthquakes as well. And I must mention the fact that the propaganda pushing mass media 
stated this over and over that Iran is threatening and going to put a hit out on Trump. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. Like they make up so much stuff. I mean, maybe they did say that, but at the same time, I told you they're not, they're, they're not worried about him right now. So why would they go after the guy who has no power right now? He has no power right now while ignoring two current, the two current people in the White House who are sending lots and lots of aid and money and all kinds of missiles over to the Middle East. So come on already. Do you really fall for this, friends? I hope not. And I told you that the globalists are covering all the grounds in an attempt to push us into a conflict with Iran, which would, without a doubt, move the world into the third world conflict. And look, at I went back and forth here a little bit. Sorry about that. But look at, um, sorry, Miss Jackson, what they did to little um, Janet Jackson. She supposedly came out and again made comments about Harris being as Indian from her. And then Janet Jackson's manager comes out afterwards with an apology, like an awful apology, that she didn't approve. That's why she fired him afterwards. You know, I never was a fan of Janet Jackson until I worked in the restaurant industry. And my boss had two tickets to Janet Jackson and couldn't go and gave them to me and my first partner, Eric. And we went, Janet Jackson, I got to tell you, man, I, she was awesome in concert. That girl, she's good in concert. And I have a thing with people in the music industry. You have to be good live to be good. Because I've seen some of my favorite bands live and they were awful. Like awful. She was amazing live. I like her. So not long ago, you know, it won't be long before we're voting. And I don't know about you, but I'm going to be voting for the people. Not the celebrities. Because I'm not voting for them. I'm voting for the people. I'm going to be voting for someone who wants border security. I'm going to vote for women's rights. And I'm going to vote for the rights to bear arms. And I vote for police officers over criminals. I vote for Americans over illegals. I vote for the right to free speech, common sense over identity politics, and I'm just voting for where my heart goes. Uh, you know, it's funny. Oh, Taylor Swift came out supporting, of course, Harris. People think that she's some kind of FBI or some kind of um, plant that's put in there. I just think she sold her soul like the rest of them. But I remind you, she can support and, you know, give a boost to anybody she wants, but I remind you of one thing, friends. Taylor Swift songs, if you're a Taylor Swift fan, I am not, but if you are, then you should know this. All her songs are about choosing the wrong person. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> like, seriously. Seriously. Anyway, let's move on to some floods and hurricanes, because speaking of Hurricane Helene, Again, another prediction hitting hard. I warned that Hurricane Helene was going to touch land as a Category 4, and she sure did. And it looked more like a Category 7 storm. If there were a Category 7 storm, there will be in the future. As I just said a little bit ago, they are going to change the storm categories in the future. Even the categories of tornadoes as well. It'll start with the tropical storms and hurricanes changing, then it'll go to tornadoes and eventually earthquakes. And the hurricanes would also be typhoons and all as well. So once again, this big hurricane, huge. They're saying it was worse than Hurricane Katrina. Worse. Because except the difference is, is Hurricane Katrina, it was all flat land. This has gone ripping through mountains, affecting people in Atlanta. Like, check out the picture of Atlanta. Out, not Atlanta, outside of Atlanta, but in Georgia at Six Flags Great Adventure. The roller coaster's underwater, y'all. Could you imagine riding that roller coaster? That'd probably be fun. You go underwater for a minute, come back up. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. I'd ride a coaster like that if it was safe. Obviously, that's not. But that'd be cool. Like going down the hill and you dunk into the water. That'd be fun. It'd be like sort of like a log flume, but a roller coaster log flume. Much more fun. I love me a damn good roller coaster, friends. The faster, the longer, the scarier, the better. So this hurricane brought up on devastation floods and devastation that have things looking more like an apocalypse we see as you see in these clips the bridges being washed away by floodwaters and yet another dam bursting from floodwaters caused by Helene just as I saw in my past visions so is there more to come 
after all of this devastation? Could another hurricane actually potentially hit the same exact spot or come close? Earlier this year, the whole East Coast, I warned, especially the southern parts of the East Coast. I warned North and South Carolina, Florida, Georgia. I didn't warn Tennessee, though, and Tennessee got hit pretty good with that there storm. And it did move over just a little bit from Atlanta, but still parts of Georgia, as you saw the roller coaster underwater. And my feeling is, because that was like the second one. Wasn't there another one that came up sort of that same path? There's Things come in threes, friends. Spirit just said, things come in threes. So yeah, definitely another one heading in that direction. So let us hold in the light that it shifts and goes somewhere else. We can m try to make a change, even though they're going to use their technology to try to shift it in the direction they want. And I still see something going up higher on the east coast of the United States between, say, Delaware all the way up to Maine. Especially in New York because of those past visions I saw. And it would make sense that they would steer a storm more, not into Jersey like Sandy, but more steering it directly into New York City. That would affect everything. Although there's a lot of illegals there that are voting the way they want them to vote. Oh yeah, they're going to vote. They already gave them a way to do so. Wow. Doesn't matter because in my mind, the Lord is in charge. The divine creator of the universe is in charge. Holding the light, good things, and good things will come in the end. So what bugs me out is the United States is sending so many National Guard and military that they just sent over to the Middle East as the Hurricane Helene was literally destroying people's lives. And they did nothing. They waited how long after? A little late now. I'm better late than ever, but still. And you know who's helping? Florida. Florida is sending people and, you know, emergency care and such to North Carolina. Florida is doing that. Not the government, but Florida. First, before the government decided to do anything and before Harris ended up being there. Not that she's going to do anything for them either. We'll have to see. But it seems like they're always sending our men and women, billion, you know, and they're sending our men and women in the military and billions and billions of dollars overseas while giving Americans the middle finger and saying, F you Americans from our own government. Not cool. So what do we expect when it comes to what they do with our money? Because it's our money, and they just do what they want with it. And again, they give us the middle finger, and they don't care. So this is going to have people totally fed up, friends. It's already got people fed up, and folks are going to become more and more fed up. And unfortunately, I see more humanitarian aid coming. But, you know, we got to remember the West Coast of the United States, too, because I see a big one coming into the West Coast. Big, big hurricane type storm going upwards. So hitting around Los Angeles and heading up that coastline towards Oregon. I see major mudslides, floods. I would expect this to be coming really soon. I'm getting this information now. And I tell you to watch for big storms on October 11th because... Between the, the 11 days, remember 11 days, we, if something comes in and touches ground, it will be devastating. Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Katrina both came in on 11 days. August 29th and October 29th. 29 is an 11 day. 9 plus 2 is an 11 in numerology. Also the 31st. So Spirit says watch the 11th, the 29th, and the 31st of October to be extremely mindful of storms that are coming your way and also of late incoming hurricanes. I also believe that there will be a supernova that was in my visions and predictions in the past coming in the skies. And are you aware of the October 9th alignment? I wanted to do a video, but like I said, I'm getting ready to do big events and I got a lot going on, so I don't have time. I will not be here next week, by the way. If I do, I will go live. I will likely go live. But I will not have an uploaded video for the next week at all. So it is what it is. Busy man, busy man. But keep an eye out for me. I will go live. The website's October9th.com. I just tell you, I was going to do a video on it, but I'm like, just go there. They did a good job. Watch the documentary. It's about an hour long. And it talks about all the Bible prophecy and the revelations and how they actually align perfectly with al astrological alignments in the sky. It makes total sense to me, friends, because on October 9th, they say that the four horsemen will appear, the four horsemen of the apocalypse appear in the sky. 
And again, I'm, I tell you to, <clears throat> excuse me, watch the video because it's really good. Just go to that website. It's on YouTube too. I can't remember what it's titled on YouTube. But don't look up October 9th on YouTube because you won't find the right video because it's not called that on YouTube. Just go to the website, October9th.com and click on, I think it's on the left side, not the documents, but the video. Watch that. It puts everything into perspective and it was kind of mind-blowing to me because in 2016, Spirit told me tribulation would be, well, Spirit didn't say tribulation. Spirit said 2025 to 2032 would be the most challenging time on earth for humanity. I deemed it tribulation for two reasons. 2025 is a nine-year endings, death of cycles, letting go of getting rid of in numerology. 2032 is a seven-year. That period from 2025 to 2032 is the seven-year window. It would make sense if Spirit said that's the most challenging time for humanity, that would be tribulation. Now, according to this video for October 9th, it's saying that October 9th is the beginning of tribulation. Now, I could believe that because our calendar is not correct. There's 13 months in a year, not 12. So it could make total sense. October, November, December, it could make sense to me that it's off by a couple of months. So October 9th is really 2025. Go check out that video. I want to know what you think about your opinions down below because it makes total sense to me. I say 2025, but remember, October is a reflection of next year. October is a nine vibration. Next year is a nine year. What happens in October personally and universally is how the whole year plays out next year. So it would make total sense to me that this could definitely happen now, like in October, and then take us into next year. It's going to be interesting, to say the least, especially what's happening with Iran and Israel right now. Not good, friends. Pray, be well, stock up, and don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Be prepared. That's all you need to do. And always have like emergency escape routes. Like look at the folks in North Carolina and, and all the folks in the path of Helene. Hopefully they had an escape plan because you never know. You know, look at the homes being swept away. I'm sure those people never in a million years, a lot of them expected that. They're not even near the water. They're far from the water and this is happening. So look for other signs in the skies. You know, they're saying that we're going to see two moons beginning. I forget what the date is. I thought they said September 27th or 29th. I haven't gone out and I haven't seen two moons. I haven't really looked. They're saying two moons in the sky. And I tried to see if there was anything in prophecy about two moons. And there is not actually. I couldn't find anything. Moving on to some other news. You saw the hijacked bus in Los Angeles. And one person who uh, was, I believe, shot, maybe on a live Remember my vision? Remember I told you I saw a bus being hijacked and somebody being held hostage on the bus? Well, that played out in Los Angeles. Unfortunately, it's going to play out again multiple times. Except the next time I see a bus with multiple, at least a dozen or more people on that bus. I also see some kind of a pow pow event happening in the subway system in New York. And not necessarily a pow pow, but some type of a fear type of attack happening on a train car in New York City. A similar one in Chicago, likely around the same time. That just came to me now. Massachusetts governor is seizing a private hospital along with, um, oh, what's the, in a, oh, I don't have the article, darn it. Something domain, I can't think of the name, the word. Oh, I had it open and I lost the link. But anyway, the long, overall, they seized a hospital. Completely. I, damn it, I wish I had the article, and I don't. I guess we're skipping that story. The whole point is, is them seizing things in, in under this new clause or law where they can go in and take whatever they want. How long before they take people's businesses? They just did. They took a hospital. That's a business. I mean, we need the hospitals. My predictions in the past were major hospitals being shut down and such. So we do need them. We need a lot of things. But them going in there and seizing the hospital, I kind of, what's going on, Massachusetts? What is going on with you? Since when does the state take over hospitals? I know in Pennsylvania, they took over the liquor stores, which is interesting. They're state stores. <laughs> Actually, they're called, they used to be called state stores. I don't live in Pennsylvania anymore. I doubt it changed since I left. Now, another thing we have is a judge just ordered the EPA to address potential risks of fluoride in drinking water. This is a big breakthrough, friends. 
people have been fighting to stop water fluoridation for a very, very long time. It calcifies your thyroid, your pineal, and your pituitary glands. Thyroid's all about communication, socialization, speaking up for yourself. You see so many people with thyroid issues, throat issues, thyroid diseases. That's why. The pituitary gland, your third eye, is where all your psychic intuition comes in. Calcifies that. And also calcifies your pineal gland, top center of your brain, which looks exactly like a pine cone. And outside the Vatican, big statues of pine cones. The Pope carries his staff with a pine cone on it. Yeah, that's where your soul resides. That is our connection to the divine. Even the Bible says we were all created in the image of the divine and therefore are all divine beings ourselves. We are all gods because of the God particles within us all. The pineal gland. And that calcifies the pineal gland fluoride as well. Your connection to the divine. I believe it's also likely linked to things like Alzheimer's, dementia, ADHD, and a whole bunch of other crap. So a federal judge in California on September 25th ordered the Environmental Protection Agency to strengthen its rules around fluoride in drinking water, writing that the compound could pose a risk to children's intellectual development. I think that's a great step ahead until they pay off the judge. Fluoride is bad, friends. Bad, bad fluoride. I am way behind. I got stuff over here to open up, and I got a couple predictions for you, too. There, I got a little bit of light there. Sorry, I forgot about my light today. Somebody sent me this. <laughs> I, need a, I need a Harris one so they could box each other. That is just too hysterical. It's a pen, which is from uh, my friends, Christina and Carmelo, who also sent me a 50 spot. You are so kind to me. Birthdays are sweetness when shared with friends. Thanks, guys. I love you. Uh, prediction in between. I see a train exploding as if it's flowing through a rural mountain-like area. I believe I saw this same vision many months back, but Spirit shows it to me again. And this time it looks more, much more clear in my vision. It's about seven trains from the rear. I see a magnet type of explosives being stuck to the side of the train. The men doing this appear to be Middle Eastern. I feel this is a way to escalate conflict. This train may have a connection between Germany and Poland. I got a couple other predictions, but let me open up something here from my friends, my tribe. This comes from Sheila R. Sheila, I love you, Sheila, in Canada. Sheila said, and something smells very, 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 very nice. Very, very nice. Something smells very nice. A man who makes incre an incredible difference. That's a pretty card. You know who you are and what you stand for. You believe in following your heart and doing things your own way. Not just to be different, but to simply be you. You are a wonderful man and you're loved so much. Happy birthday, Joseph, from Sheila. Sheila. I'm a Virgo, September 11th. Happy birthday, Sheila. Belated birthday. September 11th, that puts you in your one personal year in numerology. New beginnings, new starts, new creations, and a whole new you. This smells soapy. Mm, that smells really good. Pasha soap. Do you know how much soap I have? I could open up a soap store. Oh, God, this one smells so good. Oh, I love that smell. That smells so good. Like lavenderish. Oh, man, that smells good. I'm going to smell like a little flower. Thank you, Sheila. Sheila, Sheila. And this, awesome. I'm a big fan. I'm not going to open this, but it is a awesome Fleetwood Mac shirt. Original from the concert. Yes, I am a big, big fan. I've seen them many times. Stevie Nicks took me by the hand and told me she loved me. True story. And then I cried, and then my ex laughed at me. I'm like, but she told me she loved me. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Oh, I got a present over there from Maki in Japan. I'll open that one next. I have this here from no address. Return to sender. Oh, I can't. This is a happy birthday from Yorkshire, England. I don't know where to start. 
I have been watching your videos on YouTube for some time now and love, I don't know what that says, love and heal all those messages for, from your guides. I am now more proposed than scared, more prepared than scared. Sorry, couldn't read that. This comes from Wendy in England. Would you like some tea? Yes, I would, please, and a biscuit. So, P.S., a great, great many ancient spiritual sites in this area, which most people are not aware of. I would love to go visit there. I will one day, hopefully. Look, Maki in Japan always sends me these lovely packages that I have to cut open with scissors. And there's probably something yummy and delicious in here, which I'm sure. Thank you for your every process, prophecy on YouTube. Many of your predictions have come true. I thank you, Maki. That's cute. I love how you did that with the little card here. Joseph Tittle, all happiness on your birthday. Much love, Japan, Maki. <laughs> Look how cute that is. That's so funny. It's a pop-out card. That is a, uh, oh, God, what's she called? A kabuka. A kabuka? I think, did I say that right, Maki? Isn't that a kabuka, like the kabuka plate that she sent me that's all handmade and amazing? Yeah, pretty awesome, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Oh, let's go with another prediction. Expect there to be many types of fear attacks spreading over the Middle East, Europe, and here in North America. Be mindful when you're out and about. If you are in a populated area or city and you lose power, immediately get indoors. Again, if you are in a populated city or in an area, a lot of people, and you lose power, immediately get into shelter, lock your doors, and stay off the streets until the power is restored. Often power outages cause people to wander outdoors to see what's happening. In this upcoming outage, my strong feeling is not to run outdoors, but to stay put. I believe this warning, of course, is global, but I strongly feel that my warnings for my fellow Americans. Ah, Maki, what we got here? Tea? Some fancy tea. Best tea ever. Oh, no, that's not tea. That's cookies. Mmm, she said I get these treats from Maki that are so delicious. I can't wait till I'm done recording this and editing this so I can hurry up and eat one of them. Because <laughs> they're always so good. Always so good. Always. Did you make this? I bet you you made this with the mountain. Maki does all this etching and glass and set me, actually, this behind me, too. The vase. And then also, I think more treats. Mmm. Yum. I'll read you my other prediction. I'm trying to open this. I had a vision that I went to the grocery store. This was actually last week. I had a vision. I, oh, is this more? Mmm. I don't even. I can't even imagine what kind of treat that is. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Maki. Love you lots. Thank you, thank you. I'm putting this aside because I'm going to try it as soon as I'm done. Because <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Kind of hungry. Kind of hungry. Awesome. I think there's a few more things here. Somebody sent me... I want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Everything's in Somebody sent me this. Great picture. I can't find the card, though. From, oh, Marianne, 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 this is supposed to be Raphael, Marianne and Coco, sorry, Marianne and Coco, and my name is Joseph, by the way, Joseph, that's beautiful, by the way, that's Raphael, Archangel, um, thank you for that, thank you for that, so I had a vision, I went to the grocery store, and there was a sign, I can't open that card, on the door, this was in Sedona too. I went to the grocery store in Sedona and the doors were locked. 
Oh, look how cute he is. He looks like my neighbor's dog and my dog next door. This comes from... Thank you for all that you do. Always look forward to Tuesday's Tittle Tea Time. Wishing you the happiest birthday ever. Happy birthday. Blessings to you from Bonnie D from <laughs> Crappy California. That's what she wrote. I didn't say that. <laughs> she said from Crappy California, she says. <laughs> so I went to the uh, grocery store in Sedona in my vision, and the doors were locked on the grocery store, and I tried to, and... Happy birthday from Cheryl. Oh, that's my friend, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. I love you, Cheryl. <laughs> this is my friend, Cheryl, sent me. She sent me a present with that, too. The sign on the door at the grocery store said, closed, and then said, try Cottonwood or Flagstaff on the sign, which was really weird. They would be the next two closest towns. This comes from Leona in Indiana. May your birthday be just the blessing the year is filled with, with happy memories and wonderful moments, Leona. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for your insight, peace, and love. Thank you, Leona. So that was my vision. I was, um, I take this as another clear warning from my team of spirit guides, my team of awesome spirit guides, that they're warning us to have backup food and supplies. That is nothing to joke around with. And personally, I'm focused on gathering personally at least six months worth of food. Eventually, I'd like to. I'm not even halfway there yet, but I will be eventually. And that's just me. That's the Virgo who's very anal and has to do everything perfectly. We have this card I have to be prepared from California from Tony. Tony P. Tony. Sending birthday wishes. Wishing you a day full of good things. May you know the love of a mother who brings you life and gives you unconditional love always. Love. Love you a lot, CTP. CTP. That's the initials. There's the double card. Dear Joseph, wishing you a wonderful birthday. From all your YouTube friends. I had to send two. <laughs> she had to send two. Had to send two. Got, I think, just one more here. Did I open this one already? Why does it look open? This is from someone I know. Oh, this is, um, oh, it's saying Coco and Marianne. Oh, I did, I, you know, I didn't even notice that. There's taped in there, that 20 spot. I, I can't even believe I didn't notice it. <laughs> I'd send you two paintings. Oh, that's the paintings. These two paintings. So this comes from a painting. An actual painting. Paintings that my daughter, Marianne, drew. She were, wants to be an artist someday. Well, if you want to be an artist, that's a damn good, pretty darn good painting there. That's pretty darn good. That's very good, actually. One picture is about the many... Dragons flying in the sky. The other is a picture of Raphael. God bless you, Joseph, from Coco and Marianne. Coco, Mom, Marianne, with love. Hope you are going to have a super wonderful birthday. Thank you, Marianne and Coco, with love and gratitude. This card here is so sealed, I can't open it. It's my last one, friends. And I'm so late with today's show. Better late than never. Where does this come from? This comes from Pennsylvania. Ben Salem. Oh, this is from my friend Deborah. Deb always remembers my birthday. Another orbit complete. You're just trying to tell me I'm old, Deb. I didn't even realize you sent me this. I thought it. I don't know why you sent it to my P.O. box. You have my address. Interesting enough. Thank you also for your cards, your birthday wishes, your love, and your support, and all that you do for me. Thank you to all the supporters who make this free content possible for everybody else. Remember, next week I will probably go live on Tuesday, but that'll be about it. I will not have an upload. I will be very busy over the next week, and I will not have anything unless I randomly go live, which is very likely going to happen. Other than that, friends, I hope you have a great month of October. I will see you in the future. My crystal ball, I see it right there in my crystal ball right now. I will see you in the future. Until then, friends, remember... To be kind to others as you wish others be kind to you. Celebrate life and celebrate you. And remember to be bold, be true, be kind.
ow, I got stuck. And be you. Let your light shine, baby. Let your light shine. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste. Much love.